And you thought the moon was made of cheese. Researchers in Israel have revived a decades-old theory that the moon was created by a series of collisions in space. Many scientists believe the moon was created when a Mars-sized planet crashed into Earth billions of years ago. However, the Israeli researchers say simulations show their theory is the correct one. According to some experts, the moon was created over millions of years by objects in space colliding with Earth. Multiple impacts and material from the planet flying into space. That material then began orbiting Earth. The objects hit Earth at different angles, which sent more material into space than would have occurred from a single impact. According to researchers, the objects that collided with Earth had between a hundredth and a tenth of the planet's mass. So much material was excavated from Earth by these collisions that a ring of debris formed around the planet. As the debris orbited Earth, it then collided, forming small moons known as moonlets. As many as 20 moonlets then collided together over millions of years to form the moon. The researchers say this explains why the moon has an Earth-like chemical makeup. A widely believed theory says a planet called Theia provided most of the building materials for the moon when it crashed into Earth 4.5 billion years ago. But now the Israeli scientists say more research into the interiors of Earth and the moon is needed to prove their theory right. Here's some more cool stories about the moon. Moon's lunar poles have shifted over the last 3 billion years. A new study suggests that the moon's lunar poles have shifted due to the geological activity beneath its crust. Some 3.5 billion years ago, the moon's internal volcanic activity melted a portion of its mantle, causing it to bubble up toward its surface. The melted matter formed the visible dark patches known as the mare on the moon's surface. The hot melted surface was lighter in density than the colder area around it, which has led the moon's axis to shift 5.5 degrees. The shifted distance is roughly 125 miles, which equals the distance from Washington, D.C. to Philadelphia. The shifted axis has also caused the moon to lose much of its ice deposits as they were exposed to the sun. This new finding may also contribute to the research of where Earth's water came from. Startup set to launch first commercial moon mission. A California space startup is set to gain government approval for the first private mission to the moon. California startup Moon Express is on the verge of U.S. approval to land on the moon in 2017. In October, the startup announced a deal with Rocket Lab USA for multiple manned missions to the moon. Their MX-1 lander spacecraft will travel aboard Rocket Lab's 52.5-foot-tall Electron rocket for testing. Moon Express's MX-1 lander consists of a solar panel, pressure and tanks, and a payload deck. The small vehicle would deliver scientific hardware to the moon's surface. Moon Express is hoping to find and mine lunar resources, including platinum, titanium, and the rare isotope helium-3. Helium-3 is a light, non-radioactive isotope of helium with two protons and one neutron, in contrast with two neutrons found in helium. This missing neutron allows helium-3 to produce clean energy. Nuclear fission splits an atom's nucleus in half, resulting in heat but also radioactive waste. Nuclear fusion combines nuclei to produce energy, though when tested with hydrogen isotopes, deuterium and tritium, both produced unsafe radioactive neutrons. On the other hand, helium-3 fusion is reportedly safe. One reaction process uses two helium-3 atoms to generate helium, and two protons with no radioactive byproducts. Helium-3 doesn't occur naturally on Earth, but the Sun has been emitting it for billions of years, and some has accumulated on the Moon. 2.2 pounds of helium-3, combined with 1.5 pounds of deuterium, produces 19 megawatt years of energy. 25 tons of it could theoretically power the U.S. for an entire year. Russia plans to build a permanent moon base by 2030. 
According to the Russian news agency TASS, the Kremlin plans to put a permanent base on the surface of the moon by 2030. Russia's eventual manned mission to the moon will involve the payload and the upper stage of the Angara A5V heavy lift carrier rocket. The rockets launched in pairs will all carry a piece of equipment essential to the moon mission. Each rocket can carry up to 700 tons. The first pair will carry a lunar lander and a lunar rocket stage to the moon. The second pair will carry another rocket stage along with an advanced crew transportation system. The third pair will carry another rocket stage along with a lunar base. Another component of the mission includes sending a lunar probe to the moon's surface. The probe will look for water deposits on the surface that can be used by a future human colony. Manned missions will begin orbiting the moon in 2028 and in 2030. Humans are expected to finally land on the moon and establish a permanent moon base there during that time. The first stage of the mission will cost around $185 million, with the two other stages costing even more. However, questions remain regarding how Russia will pay for the mission.